All right, guys. So today we're going to check out the Corsair HS65 wireless gaming headset. Now, what this is, is a pair that comes in at $136, but it actually offers a lot of very interesting features. And it also has a lot of versatility because not only is it a wireless gaming headset uh, using the wireless dongle that it comes with, it also has Bluetooth built in. So you can connect it to your phone or your laptop or your tablet or anything using Bluetooth. And that gives these a little bit more flexibility than some of the other gaming headsets uh, in this price range. But we'll talk about that. We're gonna talk about what all comes inside the box uh, and basically see why I think this one has a lot to offer at its $136 price tag. Now to start with, what you're getting is a pair that, again, like I said, is a dual wireless pair of headphones or headset uh, because of the dongle, because of Bluetooth. Uh, it has Dolby Audio 7.1, so if you're going to use it on your PC or your Mac, uh, it gives you access to the Dolby, uh, basically like EQ options, and it opens up the 7.1 surround sound. Uh, another trick it has up its sleeve is it works with Sonarworks Sound ID. It's compatible with that, which allows you to go through and kind of take a A-B hearing test where you're listening to something and you say you like A or B better. Uh, and it compiles all of this and kind of EQs the headset based around what it thinks you like to listen to. And this is a huge thing. I've tested this on earbuds. I've tested this on headphones. And this is one of those apps and options that really does work. It's not one of those like generic kind of, you know, hearing tests that some of these things have that really just is something they say they have. Uh, it also works with Corsair's Q software. Uh, this allows you to have a little bit more control over your EQ options, a little bit more control over the mic, things like that. And it's also an excellent pair to work with Sony's Tempest 3D audio. This is what they have built into the PS5. Basically has that sphere around you where it's not just letting you hear things, you know, left or right, you know, front and back. You can also hear layers of things above you or things below you. So this, again, is a very enticing pair if you're somebody that does a lot of gaming on a bunch of different devices. But again, if you're going to use it on a mobile device, this is what surprised me the most. I wasn't expecting a whole lot when it came to the audio quality uh, using Bluetooth over my phone. But using Bluetooth with this to my phone, in my opinion, already alone competed with a lot of headphones in that $100 to $200 price range. Uh, so I was really... Uh, blown away by the sound quality on Bluetooth, which we'll talk about that all once we get to the sound. Now, the battery life on these, you can get up to about 24 hours. Uh, it also has a fast charge feature. If you pick them up and they happen to be dead, if you charge it for 15 minutes, you're going to get six hours of use. And that is going to get most people through a gaming session. So, you know, if you pick them up and you're like, shit, they're dead. I didn't forgot to charge them. Uh, you know, charge it for 15 minutes and get that six hours, which again, I think is a really nice touch. Now, as far as what all they've included in the box, it's pretty simple. You do get a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, uh, but you also get that USB-A 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Now, I would have liked to have seen this be USB-C or at least have a USB-C adapter in the box because pretty much everything's kind of going in the direction of USB-C. Uh, so in my opinion, you know, having it just be USB-A seems a little dated. I, I think they're kind of moving along from that. Obviously, it's nice if you already have the adapter, but this may be something you have to buy extra just to get it to work with laptops like the MacBooks. Now, as far as the build and the design of the headset, it is extremely light. In fact, it comes in at only 275 grams. Uh, that's going to be good if you're going to listen to these for a long period of time. It doesn't really have any kind of weight. Uh, the build quality is all plastic. There are some metal pieces in the part that swivels the headset, also in the adjusters, uh, but the metal is pretty minimal. It's pretty much all plastic. Now, the padding is a pleather material. Uh, same thing with the ear pads. It is also a pleather material, but it has a microfiber material that's actually touching your skin. And what that's doing is allowing it to breathe a little bit more. If it was all pleather, this would be a pair that would get warmer quicker and you wouldn't be able to use it for a long period of time. Uh, so I do like that they switched the material on what actually touches your skin. Now the ear pads themselves do have memory foam and I can't stress enough at how comfortable this headset is. Now I'm not going to say that it reaches the level of like the HyperX Cloud series. I still find those to be some of the most comfortable in any gaming headset, 
but these are very, very close. Now, as far as your inputs and your controls, it's pretty simple here. On the left-hand side, you have your USB-C input. Uh, this is also where your volume wheel is located. And it also has a mic mute button, which is kind of strange because the mic is non-removable and it just kind of mutes itself once you flip it up. Uh, so I don't necessarily think a mute button was necessary. Uh, but on the right-hand side, you have your power button and then you also have your Bluetooth button. And it's really easy to control everything. Everything's right there on the headset. But going back to the microphone, I really wish they would have had this be removable because, you know, it being able to be used as a Bluetooth pair of headphones, uh, the sound that these have and the overall design that these have because they don't scream like gamer headset, I would have easily used these out and about, but because it has that mic that sticks up and you can't really hide that, so I don't like the choice to make the mic non-removable. I do get it. It is supposed to be a gaming headset first, but speaking of the microphone, I was actually very impressed by the sound quality that it had. I think it picked up my voice very well, but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here's the test of the microphone and like I said, I think it's doing a pretty decent job of sounding natural. I mean, you do hear some digital noise. There is a little bit of artifact in the sound, but this is what it would sound like while using these while gaming. So now let's talk about the sound, because obviously all of the other stuff we've already talked about really doesn't matter if this pair doesn't sound good. And thankfully, that's just not the case. They're using 50 millimeter drivers and they are getting the absolute most out of these that they can. I feel like the bass is very, very punchy. So, you know, it's great if you're going to be gaming and you want to feel explosions. Uh, but again, listening to music, it has that somewhat like subwoofer type feel. Uh, everything has a lot of impact to it, but it has a lot of air and a lot of space. It doesn't feel congested. It doesn't feel like it's boxing you in. And the mids and the treble have a lot of room to breathe. There's a lot of detail there, which obviously for a gaming headset, uh, you're going to want the mids to be good so that you can hear dialogue so that you can hear like those subtle footsteps and things like that. Uh, but the treble has a nice like sparkle to it. I think it mixes really well with the bass that these have. Uh, I don't feel like they're really holding anything back with this headset. And another thing is the sound stage and the sound imaging because of the space that it allows in the low end. This is a very open sounding pair of headphones or gaming headset. It has characteristics of like an open back headphone. Uh, but with it being closed back, I was just impressed with how much space there was. And I was also impressed with being able to tell where different sounds were coming from. Now, mainly I used this on my PC and I used it uh, with the Dolby settings. So, you know, having that simulated 7.1 surround sound, usually in most cases it sounds artificial on headsets. And, you know, for the most part, it still sounds artificial on this headset, but it didn't sound gimmicky, like it was reverb or echo. I mean, it, it did sound like there was some decent amount of space. Uh, so it was really fun to game with this pair, but I can't stress enough of how incredible this pair is just for listening to music. So where I feel like they missed the mark is putting that mic right up front and not making it where you can remove it because I would easily recommend this pair as a main gaming headset, but also a main pair to just listen to music on the go. Uh, I like the fact that they didn't go the route of RGB lighting. I love the mesh grill look on the outside. It does remind me a lot of the blue microphone headphones that came out for a while there. Uh, it has a classy look to it. It doesn't have that gamer look. Uh, so I think it could have appealed to the masses, but I think that mic is just gonna hold it back uh, from just being that one-stop shop uh, overall headset and headphone. But I highly recommend it just based off audio quality alone. Again, I think Corsair did an excellent job here. But guys, that wraps up my video on the Corsair HS65 wireless. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.